going from hating your boss to hating your clients. This does not have to be your story. I have experience in this even in 2012 when I launched my own business. I went from working with people that I truly could not stand and I jumped into work with clients who I truly could not stand. So learn from my mistakes. We're gonna break down the reasons that this happens and more importantly, how to avoid it. So when you're first starting out as a virtual assistant, you're first launching your freelance business, it can be very tempting to say yes to every opportunity. You're afraid you're not gonna make any income, so you say yes to every project, every client that comes your way. However, that eagerness can totally lead you down the path of burnout and destruction. So here's how we're gonna break the cycle of one bad boss to 10 bad bosses and how you're going to attract your dream clients. You need to set strong boundaries. You need to do things like define your work hours. You need to clearly communicate those work hours up front to your clients and then stick to them. The one thing clients hate more than you setting boundaries is you setting boundaries and then not following them yourself. You also need to establish communication preferences. It would behoove you to tell your own clients things like, hey, only email me during business hours, no phone calls after 6 p.m., I don't do Slack. Like again, your business, your rules. If you don't wanna use a particular tool like WhatsApp or Slack, or Zoom, you put those parameters around how you like to communicate. And probably the most important thing when it comes to boundaries is making sure that you really manage your scope of work. Now, scope of work is a clearly outlined services that you do offer in your business and services that you don't offer in your business. The second most important thing you can do is be the master of saying no. No is a full sentence. You can be extremely selective for which clients you take on. And I tend to suggest that people only take on clients who you get along with, who fit your personality. For example, I do not work well with micromanagers. If a client is trying to tell me what tool to use or how to do something in a specific way, that is not the client for me. We will not get along. <laughs> so you have to know uh, who, you know who aligns with your, your value and your work style. Check out my virtual assistant business blueprint program. This program has over 30 modules, over 50 done for you scripts and templates, a LinkedIn ebook to help you reach that ideal client. We're gonna talk about how to pitch cold leads, warm leads, because yes, there is a difference. So if you're looking for a little extra hand holding to get you connected with those people faster, my program just might be the right fit for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I'll catch you on the next one.